If you're looking to use self-watering planters and you don't know where to start, I have some recommendations. I'm gonna show you pots seven inches and under. We're gonna start with a seven inch pot. This is from Gardenix. My strawberry shake is in here. It has a water meter. It also has a detachable plant liner. And this is really important because you can see where the roots are. There are other self-watering planters have a reservoir plate at the bottom and you can't see the roots. So you're not sure if the plant needs to be repotted or not. And so the water gauge on here allows you to know when it's time to fill the reservoir. The next size down are these five inch planters. They are also from Gardenex. They have that exact same water meter and the plant liner in the inside or the plant insert. And this is a really good example of you being able to see the roots at the bottom. So I'm probably gonna put this one into a seven inch planter soon. All right, so moving on to the smallest. This is a 3.5 inch self-watering planter from Gardenix. And I use these for propagations, cuttings, corms. I have a alocasia heterophylla and an alocasia long biloba in here as well. What you need to know about these small planters is that the water level is a lot different from some of the larger planters. And what I mean by that is when you fully fill the reservoir, I find that it keeps the substrate, no matter which substrate you put in here, a little bit too wet and that can lead to root rot. I find myself kind of eyeballing the reservoir to make sure that it's not completely full and making the plants too wet. It's a tiny setback, but it's something you'll get used to and it, just, it won't become a problem anymore. All of these are linked in my Amazon storefront. You should be able to find everything you need there. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.